Welcome back to Dan's Messy Garage. Although I'm not in my garage right now, I'm in my converted camper van. I'm gonna do a continuation video of when I was charging my power generator, solar generator, power station. They go by a lot of names. Um, when I was charging that off an inverter hooked to a battery. Now in my van, I have an inverter, it's a Best Tech 1000 watt pure sign inverter. I kind of yanked it out of the space so it can see better and I could get a meter back there. I'm gonna turn the inverter on. My van is running right now, so the alternator is gonna help keep my van battery from dying. And it shows that the van right now, 14.2 volts. Inverter is outputting 115. It's not using anything yet. My power station shows that I'm using about 13 watts. That's because I have some lights and LEDs and things on in here. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this EcoFlow River Pro into the inverter. Okay. And that's gonna ramp up. That's starting to climb. That's starting to climb. That's gonna get up around 600-ish watts going in which is wonderful because that thing will charge itself in less than two hours from being dead. Okay, now this says that we're put, pulling, we're putting out 811 watts. Batteries at 12.34. And, see that or not, 22.756. Seven five amps, so twenty two point eight amps, about eight hundred fifteen watts coming out of the inverter, six hundred twenty one or so going into EcoFlow. So that works good. You, you can charge these things from an inverter, and also I'm going to show you how this little thousand watt inverter is good for running other things. I'm gonna unplug this. Up here I have a toaster, got an electric heater, and a little George Foreman grill. And I have a electric pot. These things are great. And another wonderful thing is this right here. It's a Chew Lux, little tiny like Keurig type coffee maker they work great for van camping car dwelling whatever tent camping they're just wonderful if you like cake cup coffee so let's get started we'll take the toaster plug it in the inverter and push it down see what we get looking like it's over 900 watts so far we're pulling 25 amps out of the battery well, can't really see with the camera but there is heat coming out of the toaster 889 okay so that works out of the way let's try this foreman grill this little guy is is just <laughs> it's great you know for one person camping and one person meals quick easy to clean and yeah, see what it pulls looks like about 800 
I don't know, 21.47, about 800 watts. Okay, that works good. Yeah, that's, ouch, that's getting warm quick. All right. Little pot, these are great. Got this little thing that you can put in there to boil eggs, hard boil eggs, soft boil eggs. Of course, cord stores right in it. The cord just plugs into the side. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and do all this, and uh, I'm not that coordinated. Hold on. Okay, I don't want to run this thing dry, so I'll put a little bit of water in there. Okay, we'll turn it on low first. Low is really low, it's only 35 watts. Turn it up, 7, 38, 39. like about it fan batteries at 12.4 and we're taking about 19 and a half amps out of the battery 738 I don't know if the camera picks that up but that water is already starting to move around down on the bottom little bubbles are forming it's steaming it gets hot these little guys are wonderful. They really are. Cook meals in there, soup, or just boil water. Fantastic. Okay. So, it's just kind of a update video on my other one about charging a power station from an inverter hooked to a van battery or a car battery. Yes, it can be done but the car engine or van engine should be running because otherwise you can kill your battery oh and the inverter that will shut off when it gets too low a voltage if it gets below i think it's like 10 and a half volts it'll just turn itself off but um inverters work good i still need to make a video on my van build uh i'll get to it but right now thanks for watching and of course don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell blah 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 have a good day bye